Hey, good morning. This is Adam Post. This is the Morning Post. Wake up. Good morning. It's time to talk about some cool stuff. All right. Well, what we're talking about today is Joker pulling the biggest profit ever for a comic book film. It's official. It just came out today. I wanted to tell you all about it. We're going to get right into it. Um, first thing I need you to do is a huge help to me. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Like this video. Let's get right into it. Oh, my goodness. Holy cash cow, Batman. This is coming from Cinema Blind. Holy cash cow, Batman. Joker is now the most profitable comic book movie of all time. That includes the original Batman. That includes Avengers. It includes Daredevil. It includes the most recent Batman. It includes X. It includes everything. So as it says in the article, for a while it seemed like Avengers Endgame and the MCU were poised to completely dominate the cinematic landscape this year. Obviously, Avengers Endgame did huge, huge business, you'd think, right? Avengers Endgame would be kind of like where it's at. That would be the movie. Uh, plus, they had Captain Marvel, which supposedly did a billion dollars. They reported it as a billion box office. I don't believe it. That's another whole video. Check the playlist. So, at least as far as comic book franchises were concerned. That changed this October when Joaquin Phoenix's Clown Prince of Cl Crime danced down those now iconic stairs. The really cool stairs. Um, he's dancing downstairs in this picture. I haven't cut out here. But those, those are the stairs in the Bronx. The super iconic picture, right? So now Joker isn't just one of those most successful films of, of the year. It's the most profitable comic book film of all time. Let's break it down. So it was previously reported that Joker was on track to match Avengers Infinity War's overall profit. Forbes explained that as of Friday, November 8th, Joker will have grossed more than $304.2 million in North America and a staggering $957 million worldwide against the $62.5 million budget. That gives Batman William, the Batman villains origin story, an edge over films like The Mask, Venom, Aquaman, and even the Joker's nemesis, Batman. And the reason why it gives it such an edge is it's a low budget. You know, it's a controlled budget. So it, you don't have um, back-end deals and, and percentage deals and things like that. When you have an Avengers Endgame, you have a lot of stars in that movie. Uh, God knows what um, Robert Downey Jr. made. is reported at like 40 or $60 million for one film. So they don't have any of those kinds of costs in this movie. Although they did split the profits, as we learned in a previous video of mine, um, with a, with two other outside producers because they wanted to share the risk of Joker. They didn't really think it was going to be like obviously a hit like this. So they cut out like 30 a half of the production cost, like $30 million in exchange for uh, half of the profit, which um, those are going to be some very, very happy investors they have. So... Uh, Joker has been racking up records since its debut, uh, posting the biggest opening weekend for a film in October and quickly surpassing Deadpool to become the highest grossing R-rated film of all time. We did another video on that as well in the playlist. Um, did you ever think this was going to happen? Put it in the comments below. Did you think Joker, like even when you first saw it, where you're like, is this going to be, wow, this is a great movie. Is this going to be like the biggest profitable, most profitable comic book film of all? Uh, hard to believe because they're not really taking kids to this, right? And it's not even in China. So how are they doing this? They're staggered, they're staggered accomplishments for any film, but especially one with subject, hey, just like I was saying, subject matter that doesn't necessarily have family-friendly appeal. Of course it doesn't. Unless you think, you're not going to take children to this movie. Teenagers, sure, uh, but not kids. Before it hit theaters, Joker stirred controversy and debate due to its dark tone and unflinching violence. It divided critics and audiences who either view it as an unnecessary dark contribution to the DC canon or an important film that elevates the entire comic book genre. It is an important film that, generate, that uh, elevates the entire comic book genre because uh, they weren't doing these kind of thoughtful movies before uh, Joker. They really weren't. Somebody correct me in the comments. I'm sure somebody did something, but I didn't see it. Certainly not Batman and Robin with uh, with the Joker in it by uh, Jim Carrey or uh, Riddler. That, you were going to catch me? I caught you, the Riddler. But Joaquin Phoenix and the film's director, Todd Phillips, have defended the film against the tractors. And, and all of that controversy was great for publicity. It made people like curious, like, well, what is this thing, Joker? If it's bad, you know, it, not bad, not good, but bad, like dangerous, I got to see it. So 
so people go see it. And a lot of people have put in my comments in my other videos, you go look at those comments about Joker, uh, they've seen it several times. That's where all the money comes from. Phillips has credited the film's loyal fans for helping it propel it to box office glory. Whether you love the film or hate it, there's no reason to hate it. Um, there's no denying that it's become a true pop culture sensation. That is absolutely true. It's one of those things that used to happen. You make a great film and it kind of like moves the culture a little bit, shakes the culture a little bit. Something that everybody's talking about. There are few more milestones that Joker could hit. It seems increasingly likely that the film will cross the $1 billion threshold. It will. I'm telling you, it will. And despite mixed, that's box office only. It's going to sell in a lot of other places too. And despite mixed critical uh, reception, Joaquin Phoenix is poised to, to potentially earn an Oscar nomination, he should, uh, for his captivating performance, which would put the film in rare company with films like The Dark Knight and Black Panther, uh, which Black Panther was a socially important movie, but it was not Oscar worthy, not, not even remotely. You can disagree with me in the comments. You'll be wrong, but I would love to see what you have to say about it. Or you can agree with me, which is even better. Makes you really smart. As far as accolades are concerned, Dark Knight was good. Um, it's unlikely, but not entirely out of the question that DC will try to further capitalize on Joker's incredible success with subsequent films. Well, of course they will. Not entirely out of the question. It's ridiculousness. The star, and of course they're going to try and make more movies like this. They'll have like five to six uh, Batman villains in development, and independent companies will have their own villains in development. I make my own comics here, okay? College of the Dead, check it out. Some descriptions, very good. Um, I'll probably work on some villain properties. Why wouldn't I? And outside of, of Todd Phillips' uh, vision, Todd Phillips' vision of Gotham, the villain's potential appearances in the Batman and Suicide Squad franchises are still somewhat up in the air. They're not going to use this um, Joker and and bring him in into uh, the big budget movie stuff that format. It makes no sense. You wouldn't put it together that way. You know, he's a serial killer who happens to wear the Joker costume or whatnot. Um, that's basically what he is. Uh, it's like a small movie, an art movie. It's, of course, my take. Um, you know, that happens to reside with some familiar superhero characters, but it's a very small story. You're not going to, like, see Superman mixing it up with this Joker, for example. That would make no sense. Go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. It's a big help. Click the bell for notifications. I want to see your comments about this article. And I want to know how many times have you seen the Joker? Um, because people tell me when they comment on these things, sometimes they see like five, six. There's one person who so said eight times was going to see it a ninth like the next day. So I'd love to know. This is a real cultural phenomenon in our time, so it's good to enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to see you again soon with another video. I will see you tomorrow on Morning Post.